It's a few days after semi-final. We found out I punched my ticket. It was a super stressful weekend if you were following along. And so I've been getting a lot of questions like, what does intro back to training look like for you? How is the volume? Do you dive right in? And I wanna share that with you. So I think it's really important after a competition to give your mind and your body a chance to just reset. Because even though you're so eager and you're so hungry and you wanna jump right back in, your body's not always ready for that. So I've taken about a full week off, four days, and now we're gonna have two days of intro to training. and I'm gonna take another day off and then we're gonna work back in. So intro to training, what does that mean? That means I'm getting back into the movement. So I'm gonna snatch and I'm gonna squat today, but I don't have percentages. It's gonna be a lot on feel and just kind of getting back under the barbell, getting my body moving again. And then we have a workout that has some wall balls, some biking, some chest to bar, just lots of different styles of movements to kind of wake the entire body up. But again, there's no pressure on intensity and there's no pressure on percentages. So it's all about how I feel and the goal is to feel really good kind of get my body moving so I'm hungry going into our training block starting in a couple days I always start every session but especially when I'm getting back into training with my activation drills so I have kind of a large of a large plethora, I should say, of drills, but I pick specific ones based on what I'm doing. So since we're gonna start with snatching, I'm warming up my shoulders and my lats, and basically it's an arm bar drill with a little bit of a corkscrew at the top to get my lats and my shoulders to open and also work on shoulder stabilization. Then I do an SI joint stabilizer, which is one of my absolute favorite drills. So I take a little monster band, I put it around my knees where I'm pressing out, similar to like a clamshell, but then I'm anchoring down my SI joint to make sure that my hips and my pelvis aren't moving as I'm taking a kettlebell overhead, which is also also helping help opening up my lats so when we're doing these Olympic lifts it's a compound lift so there's a lot happening so we want to make sure we can stabilize and stay strong where we should so we're not tweaking our back or putting a little external pressure or things like that where we shouldn't be So we do think that it's really important, like take those few days, kind of come down from the adrenaline and the excitement. So we're still 10 weeks, just about 10 weeks out from the CrossFit game. So even though Christy's really excited, still having a pretty good time block out, we've got to kind of tamp that down a little bit, still work off some progressions and slow down the, that excitement so that it doesn't taper off and we can maintain the intensity and the, the training style that we need to for the next couple months. But yeah, we're really excited. We're down here in Charleston, it's beautiful. We got Milo with us, took him to the beach this morning, might do the same thing tonight and uh, we'll get a good training session in. Honey, we got a moon that's falling, a dance floor made of grass. Your blue eyes make me wanna make this evening last. Put on an old song, put on that new dress. Tomorrow's coming, buddy.
need to wring my clothes out. Oh my gosh, I've never sweat that much. Might as well have just gone and jumped in the ocean with the amount that I sweat, but I'm really happy. So that was a hard session. Uh, not because the workouts were that hard, just because my body, I've been doing nothing. So it was like, hey, let's move again, which was really good. But also because of the humidity, we checked and it was 87% humidity so on top of not moving and then you pile that on top it was a good session we got it done i'm completely drenched that's actually probably the most humidity we've ever worked out in it rained all morning like torrential downpours and i think it's like 80 something degrees with 87 percent humidity but i think it actually worked out really well because it like forced us to keep the intensity low to kind of get back in and get the ball rolling so we did work really hard obviously we're drenched the workouts certainly weren't easy but the effort level was actually had was forced to be brought down just because it was so freaking humid. Heart rate was through the roof. We got a little bit of everything. We got on the rower, the bikes, we did some wall balls and pull-ups. Not too many reps of anything. The volume wasn't certainly too high, but we just got some workouts in and got Chrissy kind of moving again. We again got to pace things out because we still got almost 10 weeks until the CrossFit game. As excited as we are, we still just got to make sure that we're building up in an appropriate way so that when we get there, we're actually peaking and we don't do that too early before the games. We had a total blast at the beach. We just got back from Charleston, South Carolina for my family's wedding, and it was a beautiful wedding in a beautiful city. We also got to spend just a little bit of time on the beach, which was perfect timing the week after the semifinal, just to kind of relax and reset. However, I couldn't sit around too much. I got to do some walking on the beach with my parents. I even did a little bit of light bodyweight work, which was really fun in the sun with the water. And then take Milo swimming in the beach was honestly probably one of my favorite things. He was like attacking the waves, which was so much fun to watch. But now it's time to dig back into training and just dive in. We're gonna be smart about it. We have a little bit of an extended time, kind of like we talked about earlier. So just making sure that we're able to sustain whatever volume that we are starting to increase to. I'm excited, I feel refreshed, I feel reset, and I'm just like ready to get after it, which is a really good feeling, and that's how you definitely wanna feel. We wanna thank today's sponsor of our video, 8sleep. We have an 8sleep, my parents have an 8sleep, my in-laws have an 8sleep, my sister has an 8sleep. We literally cannot recommend this enough, especially if you sleep hot or you sleep cold, or maybe your partner sleeps hot or they you sleep cold and you guys are opposite. You can each set your own side, which is super awesome. If you wanna learn more, check out the link below. I promise you're gonna absolutely love it. Have a great day and we look forward to sharing with you our journey as we head to the CrossFit Games. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and have a good day. Body hot like you like I'm a fan from the inside All I can say, oh, nah, 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 nah No compromise Put enough there at night